How's it going YouTubers, Cornwall here. Thank you for joining me for another video today. And today um, I've got a little uh, extra build for you all. Um, so recently um, on the Stellistics forum, uh, we're doing a JDM series, so Japanese cars. Um, the little twist to it, um, other than the fact that it's in B class, is it must, uh, you can't have um, any engine swaps or any drivetrain swaps. So it's got to be stock to an extent, but you get to build it up to a B class. Um, so I missed the first race, um, I was at a wedding, um, but the second race was on the Alps reverse Spastalaz or something like that, the, the middle one, but in reverse, um, so you've got that nice big hill to go up. I chose this one, which is the, the uh, Honda Civic 1997 version um, in front wheel drive. Um, myself and Mr Filthy Piehole um, are part of Nakatomi Racing, um, so we went with a bit of a, um, a Japanese um, it could be Chinese or something like that, but uh, we want we liked it because it was off um, Die Hard, so we're Nakatomi Racing for this for this race. Um, so he's done a lovely paint job for this, which you can find by searching for Filthy Pie Hole on there. Um, so he's got it on the side there, just a few bits and bobs. It's got my number, um, and it's got um, a little bit of a quote there where it says, um, uh, "If one day speed kills me." Um, don't cry because I was smiling, which is a nice little quote um, for the JDM feel from Fast and Furious because that's from Paul Walker. Um, and we've just got a few bits there, uh, same on the other side, and I think there's a little uh, it's blank blank roof this time. Uh, but yeah, so that's available on the um, on the storefront. Um, my tune will also be available there, but I just wanted to share it with you in case there's a few tweaks you wanted to do for yourself. Um, but please do give this a go. Um, while this is loading, I'm just going to chat a little bit um, because I got uh, ninth overall, I think it was, in the in the entire race. I was in lobby two for this race. Um, wasn't quite quick enough to get into lobby one, which was predominantly people in real wheel drive cars. Um, but I got ninth overall. Um, I think I've almost got this in the top 1,000 on that track. However, um, next week, um, or, or this week, as this film's coming out, this video, sorry, um, it's um, we're actually at um, Yas Marina North. Now, I quite like the track, but not in public lobbies, because not everyone, but most people cut every single corner on there, and it really annoys me. Um, I, I wish they could do it better, because I really like the tracks. I, I really like the GP tracks. Massive F1 fan. Um, but we're at um, um, Yas Marina North, and this has done really well on that. So I'm going to show you the build first, um, and we'll get into that now. And then I'll just go through Rivals, and I might just pick up a random track towards the end of this video. So as you say, it's B600, front wheel drive. Um, so there's no engine conversion and there's no drivetrain swap, it's all stock. Um, the one thing I have done and you're allowed to do is aspiration conversion. So I've got the centrifugal supercharger on here. Um, so that's that bit done and um, we'll go straight to the engine parts. Air filter, um, we've got that as the race air intake. The fuel system, um, we've got that as the race fuel system. Uh, ignition, um, we've got that stock. Uh, the exhaust, we've got the race exhaust. That race exhaust coupled with the air filter, I think it is, makes this sound, this car sound like an absolute beast. It sounds fantastic on the on the track. Uh, camshafts, uh, we've got stock. Valves, we've got stock as well. Displacement, and we've got the race engine uh, block there. So that's taken us up from a 1.8 to a 2 litre uh, engine. Pistons and compression, we've got stock. So centrifugal supercharger, we've got the race version there. Uh, no air cooler, no oil and cooling, just check the flywheel just in case, yeah, no flywheel there either. Um, I've, I've put these parts in mainly to get the torque up so I can get a nice good pull up the hill. Um, I might do a quick lap just to show you guys where it is, um, but I was actually overtaking cars up that hill because this car had such an awesome pull up there. Um, so we'll go to platform and handling. Uh, brakes are race. The springs and dampeners are race. Front anti-roll bars are race. Rear anti-roll bars are race. The chassis, um, I've just got the street chassis, so it's just the um, the engine reinforcement bar, if you like there. Um, that just goes across the, the, uh, the front of the um, 
the engine on, under the boot just to um, get that front end nice and sturdy which worked really well um, and the weight reduction we've gone with the sport weight reduction and into the drivetrain um, the clutch is stock as always the transmission uh, we've got with the sport transmission driveline uh, we've got the race driveline differential and um, we've got the race diff uh, tyres and rims and the tyre compound is sport front tyre width um, is the 225s so we've got a slightly wider tyre to help with the turning and a little bit of extra grip and we've got the 235s on the rear and that just helps because of how I tuned the car. The back end was, was sliding out ever so slightly, so I've got a slightly fatter wheel on there just to help with that grip so you can really wang it into the corners. Uh, the rims, the sport rims, and the, the TE37s, which are really nice. They've got a massive weight reduction on them, which is fantastic. Uh, the rim size, uh, we've got the 17 inch rims at the front, and we've got the 17 inch rims at the rear. So again, just to help with that, uh, that cornering. Uh, aero, uh, the front bumper, we've got the uh, Forza bumper, the rear wing is Forza, and the rear bumper is uh, C West. As you can tell on the um, delivery that you can see on the back wing there, it's got the C West logo, so um, that's what Pie Holes designed it for. So we've got the C West one there, and the side skirts are also. Um, I've actually got those ones but it should be Sea West because it looks a little bit better so we'll just change that <laughs> um, but yeah that, that's what we've got on there so Sea West again um, and that's it for the build so let me just quickly go in here and um, just to prove to you that is the stock as well um, so um, after the build day you should have a speed of 6.4 handling of 5.2 acceleration of 8.0 launch of 7.3 and braking of 5.5 uh, you should have power of 329 horsepower, 210 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, the weight is 2,218 and a front of 59%, the displacement of 2.0 litres. So we'll go into the tune and we'll get onto that bit. Just wet my whistle there. Right, uh, so the tyres, we've got 27.5 in the front and 28.0 in the rear. Uh, the gearing, obviously you can't change any of the other gears here, but we can change the final drive and I've got 4.20 um, as the final drive um, for both the Aston Marina and for the Alps track that's just enough, um, especially if you're in uh, race trim um, and you're racing against other drivers, it just gives you enough um, speed left on the, on the speed or enough revs, um, so if you are slipstreaming someone you can hurtle past them which is good. Uh, alignment, uh, we've got negative 3.0 and negative 3.1 in the front and negative 3.0 in the rear. The toe, uh, we've got at 0.0, .0 and the rear, we've got negative 0.1. Excuse me, just a quick uh, little bit there. The Pepsi Max is uh, repeating on me a bit. Uh, the front caster is 6.0. Uh, the anti-roll bars, uh, we've got 16.62 for the front and the rear at 19.41. Uh, and don't forget guys, if anybody's um, new to tuning on this or, or used to tuning rear wheel drive cars, don't forget um, that obviously in this car everything's at the front, so the front needs to be softer than the rear because that's where all your weight is and where all your power is going to. Um, when you're doing rear wheel drive cars, um, your weight is more in the back and that's where all your power is going. Sometimes it's a more balanced because you'll have the engine in the front but all the power is going to the back. So you just need to account for that on, on your anti-robots and your springs. Um, and again on the springs here, uh, we've got the front at 421.3. In the front and the rear we've got 4831.9 and the right height all the way down to the deck at 4.9. Dampening, uh, the front we've got 9.5 and the rear we've got 10.4 for the rebound stiffness and for the bump stiffness got 3.4 in the front and the rear you've got 4.2 uh, the aero we've got at 90 and 175 um, so not full aero it's just enough to get around those corners and keep it down but also we've got taken a bit off to get that speed 
Braking, we've got 47% towards the rear um, and the braking force is 125%. I've recently upped that in the last month or so and it works a lot better for me. Um, but don't forget, this is why I, I do this as open source tuning. Um, so you can uh, change that for yourself. And the differential, we've got 90% and 8%. Uh, got quite a high acceleration on there uh, and that was because the car was pushing um, when I was trying to accelerate around a corner, um, it still does it a little bit, which is something you do get um, with front wheel drive cars. I think it's slight understeer, but as I was planting it around a corner when I felt I had uh, enough of a turn on, as I was putting it down, it was drifting out of the corner. Um, so I've increased the, the acceleration, which helped the car really pull itself around uh, and a little bit of deceleration. So when you're uh, you can ease off the gas a little bit and it'll coast around those corners a little bit. Uh, so just quick look on the left, I won't go through them all, but just do the, the, the first two sections. Um, lateral G's doesn't really matter uh, as such. So uh, acceleration from 0 to 6 miles per hour, we've got 4.527 seconds. Uh, that's 0 to 60, 0 to 100, we've got 10.811 seconds and a top speed of 106.4 miles per hour. Braking distance, 8 to 9.7 um, feet at uh, 60 miles an hour uh, and 100 miles an hour got 241.2 feet uh, so that's a tune for you guys and as I said at the start I'll just quickly show you there's some rivals there's a good chance I may have been nudged down a little bit um, so I'll just quickly show you this is the track that it was tuned for the Stat, Stat Plaz or something um, and we'll just go to my friends list um, uh, so near me there we go so I'm 1337 I was a little bit higher up obviously been nudged down a little bit um, so it's not the best car on this track um, but it's not bad for saying that's a front wheel drive car I think that's pretty decent there are people out there that are faster than me I'm happy to admit that um, there's always someone faster than you and that's what we aim for um, and if I go here uh, 785 I was 77 um, keep pressing that um, what we've got in front of us. Uh, so we've got a H HS, uh, V, GTS, a couple of Renault Clios, Toyota Supra, Ford Mustang. Um, I'm not sure what the quickest car is on here. Uh, Renault Turbo, which I presume we've got the rally engine in, lots of straddles. Um, so it's actually quite a competitive car to get this in the top thousand. Um, so let's see, let's take it for a spin somewhere, shall we? Um, just to finish this off couple of laps round top gear yeah why not so excuse me just scratch my eye uh, let's just have a quick look at rivals on here uh, Nissan GTR is what I last did this in so I've not actually done a proper lap I don't think on B class around here 1 minute 11 uh, is what we're, what we're at there, um, let's just see what's happening in my friends list, blue in four, so he's just stupidly quick at everything, shout out to you, uh, Viper's pretty damn quick at everything as well, um, so we're looking at around minute 20 roughly, um, there's Filthy Pile, Stella Stig, so if I could get around here it'd be nice, um, so let's see what we can do in this, it might not be decent on this track, I don't know. So uh, let's give it a go. I'll do some a little jiggery poo uh, editing, um, and we will. Um, um, so here we are back at the um, um, uh, the race um, and the rivals leaderboards. We've got 762 in front of me. Uh, one minute 19, and he's done that dirty. I've just done the first lap around just to get the tyres warm. The back ones are still struggling a little bit uh, to get the heat in that. Um, so let's see what we can do on a flying lap. Let's go. You can hear that this car just sounds sweet. Um, obviously, I'm inside and it sounds fantastic. To me, it's a drive on the outside. Might uh, I think it sounds even better out there or worse. I don't know. since I've driven uh, top gear I have to say but I do like the track once you've driven it quite a few times you have to get 10 laps or so under your belt um, I do find that it's a really nice track uh, to drive and anybody that doesn't know it's I think it's actually uh, designed by Lotus 
um, so it's got everything on a track that you need so you've got your straights you've got your corners and certain corners to to get around and um, that's what I think I remember reading or hearing somewhere be careful on my corner because of the, the slight push out I swear this this straight here is a little bit longer on the TV show Do one more, we beat 762 there, but it was dirty. Um, and it's a 119. Sure I'll manage. So I might do three laps if the, the other lap was a little bit dirty. I forgot that I dirty it. Um, I thought I'd got away with it, but obviously not. I hope you all like the new uh, entrance video. Um, so the, the money that I, I don't really make any money from YouTube, uh, but from my patrons, um, that they've, they've uh, I've been raising theirs, they've brought you that. Um, nice new entrance there. I um, thought I needed a bit more of a professional looking um, entrance for my YouTube channel. So uh, I've uh, I tapped someone to do that for me, which is really good. Um, you might see two different versions. I've got a long version and a short version. Uh, I'm just going to do another lap here. Um, yeah, the short version um, will be if I've got a slightly longer video um, than I need it. So the entrance span. It's about 14 seconds long, but if I need something that's just a little bit short and sweet, so you guys aren't going to sit through it all, but I quite like it. It's got a nice wolf on there and it's nice and clean. Gonna get it updated to get that logo uh, a bit freshly done so it doesn't look as, uh, as blocky, but um, yeah, all good. Good things are happening. Got a few announcement videos coming up. I'm uh, really looking forward to something, something you guys might be really interested in uh, and potentially meeting me. Um, but that's uh, all to come. Do love this car. I'm gonna do a, a rear wheel drive version of it because it's just fantastic. I can see why it dominates some of the leaderboards and a go-to car for a lot of people. It's just such fun to drive. So if, I think if I was wanting to make this a bit more competitive on this leaderboard, um, I'd definitely have to just nudge the gear ratio up a little bit. It's not quite getting there, um, but there we go. So I managed a 119.225. Um, so I'm just going to finish that, just see where we get in the world with that. Don't forget while I'm just waiting for this, uh, that I've got the Corn Wolf Clinic. So anybody that's got a tune for a car or who's trying to tune up a car and you've got a build but the tune's not quite there, um, drop me a, a post below, send me a message, go on my Facebook, go on my Twitter, send me the details. So I need the build, what build you're aiming for, so like B class, C class, whatever, um, and the tune that you've got on that car currently. Um, and I will do a video. Uh, I've got a few videos coming out for that. I've got a couple of people that have sent me some stuff. Um, and what I'm going to do, excuse me, is I'm going to um, do it in two parts. The first part is going to be um, your build, your tune, and then I'm going to show you where you can make adjustments to hopefully make it a little bit more competitive. Um, and then do that on like a live commentary. Uh, and then the second part of that is going to be my tune and, and my build on that car as well just so you've got something to compare it to and just to show you something different that I will do with that car uh, if I haven't tuned it already obviously if I already have then put it in the direction of that one I might just do another tune and um, that's that so anyway um, so without doing any adjustments uh, got into 1828 which isn't too bad I could probably get a little bit quicker uh, but I'm pretty happy with that 
a fine knocked just over a second off that just under the top 1000 so let me know what uh, what you find this uh, really competitive in and where you find it really good in um, really interested to know especially with it being front wheel drive it's just something a little bit different um, obviously front wheel drive cars do suffer a little bit and then again so do four wheel drive cars not quite as competitive as rear wheel drive cars um, but yeah give it a go so uh, thank you very much for joining me on this one and um, don't forget to smash that like button subscribe if you're not already a subscriber um, leave a comment if you've got any comments um, appreciate your viewing um, and all that um, and I shall see